What's going on everyone? Today we're we'll taking a look at a LEGO City set. Wow, that's something you won't see often on the channel. A LEGO City set review. So this is one I just caught my attention. So I picked it up and here we are. This is called the Safari Off-Roader. And it's, it's a very simple, straightforward build off their, their adventure of going through the safari, looking at animals. And in this case, yeah, here's one of them. So let's take a look at the box first. Number one, age is five plus. Wow, they've changed the age range for once. And uh, set six to six, seven with 168 pieces. Of course, whole scenario and at the back, I don't know. I don't feel like these LEGO City sets have become more and more child interactive. I mean, these were made for children in the first place, but I don't know. It feels like they're 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 going more and more child friendly, if you will. So let's take a look at the actual set. So first and foremost, let's look at the Jeep itself. Let's get these things out of the way first. We'll get to them after. Uh, so the main thing of this. Oh my goodness. Hang on, I'm dropping everything. So the main thing of this um, set is obviously the Jeep. And you can see, it's no ordinary Jeep. It's just your Safari ATV. Is it an ATV? But it's an off-roader for sure. So it can travel on some pretty, pretty tough terrain. And the point of this is that, well, it's for tourism. It's perfect for tourism. And I, I kind of, I'm kind of confused of why it is colored like a zebra. It's got the zebra stripe patterns on it, on the front and on the sides, which are all stickers, by the way, just so a sticker warning. Yeah, you're gonna have lots of fun putting stickers on this car. But yeah, I don't know. It it, it feels like, it, it really feels like um, this is purposely attracting predators. I mean, if you're in the in the wilderness, in a safari, you're trying to, you know, you're trying to be not disrupt wildlife. But if you're dressed like a zebra, this feels like a perfect opportunity for the cougar, which is in the set, uh, or like lions or tigers or hyenas. They just come after you. Or leopards. Yes, leopards, not tigers. Uh, they'll just come after you. Or they'll think you're food and attack you like i think the pattern or like the design exterior design on this vehicle wasn't well thought out i mean in terms of logic it wasn't really well thought out maybe if it was like a more green nature more like blending in with like the the environment in the safari i'd get that but the build itself of course it's very very nice I, it's it's what you would expect for a Lego vehicle, but I'm not a big fan of how the color scheme turned out. I feel like it could be used for a much better purpose, that's for sure. So, tires, what it's your everyday tires. You know, it's what you normally see. Front here, very nice. The license plate is here. Again, another sticker. And, uh, yeah. Stickers, 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 all stickers. And then, I would, I don't even, if this, is this a mirror? I don't even know anymore. I think this is a giant mirror. Well, this is a mirror for sure. And then, uh, side here, just more patterns. And I guess, I guess, um, oh yeah, this is where for the gasoline, you know, to fuel the car. There's an attachment point here if you wanna haul like a trailer or something with this thing. Antenna. You know, for long-range communication, because after all, they are in the wilderness with no, <laughs> not a lot of strong connections. And yeah, so the back here, again, simple design. The back, with the license plate again, and then the Safari logo. Also, the same Safari logo is on the top right here. You've got headlights over here, and the top here. I guess this is actually for um, tourists to sit and take photos of animals. Uh, I, I, at least that's what I assume. I'm pretty sure though. And yes, you can take it off this entire thing. So this whole piece just comes off as a whole. And inside, you can do the following things. 
stick both your minifigures, or three actually, you might be able to stick three minifigures inside if you can. But point is, um, you can open the roof up, so that means you can stick the driver inside to drive the vehicle, and you can stick one or two figures in the passenger seat sitting inside here if they want to just stay indoors. Of course, by all means, you can have the driver in here and then have like a like a, uh, um, a tourist sitting up at the top taking photos. So playability for this vehicle, it's got a lot. It's definitely got a lot of different options, you know, for you to choose. But the really the only thing I don't like about this vehicle in particular is just the color scheme on it. It just doesn't make sense to me and it should be honestly be something else. But the overall design of the car, again, is very, very nice. So we've gotten the star of the show out of the way. So let's take a look at the minifigures and the other thing that's included in the set, which is the cougar. Let's just get let's just get this cougar over with, shall we? It's 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 what you expect. This whole figure comes in one piece. There's no assembly required. It's literally attached in this tiny plastic bag. So you just gotta. It's its own piece. You just gotta take it out. And again, I'm always a big fan of Lego animals. I've gotten the mammoth, T-Rex, octopus, shark. Just Lego animals are amazing. Period. I just. Not just because of their mold, but like they're just fun to collect. You know, Lego animals. Why not, right? And this cougar, I like it. Definitely. Posability or playability, yes. In fact, the cougar has two. Number one, the butt. <laughs> or this area. So you can then make it look like he's running. You know, just a normal cougar stance. And of course, the head can be moved up and can be moved down if he's like drinking water or eating some food you know after he caught a zebra or something or we can look up if he's like just uh, what's that but yeah a lot of facial expression can be made and just a very very cool animal in general in real life but then in this little lego form as a figure form yeah definitely a cool collectible animal figure and I just love Lego animals, and yeah, this is a great way to collect this little sucker. Oh yeah. So, that is the Lego Cougar that is in this set as well. Next thing, we got two minifigures. They're both tourists? Actually, no. One's a tourist, I think one's a worker. So, ta-da, here they are. So, I, I would assume this girl is the worker um, this is one whole piece I like it this piece you can make your own custom minifigs with this with like the cap with the ponytail sticking out she does have two faces a winky face if the camera will focus maybe I can show you it there you go winky face there's this face as well she's got binoculars and a cup of coffee you know because when you're at work gotta stay awake and just your everyday Tourist figure, very very cool. Nothing, nothing really special on her legs. It's just yeah. I guess the only cool thing about her is the is the the the, the hat piece, for sure. Next thing we got the actual tourist with his uh, camera, which is actually very familiar, uh, like those old school photography cameras, you know, before iPhones and. Smart and tablets were a thing, and 4K cameras were a thing. This is probably one of the old school cameras, and uh, yeah, very nice. And of course, he's got a nice print on him. Nothing on the pants again. He's got his face with his normal hair. He does have a second face, which he's completely freaked out. You know, there's a reason for that, because in the set he actually disguises himself, and the cougar is literally right up to him, and he gets really, really freaked out. So, here's the thing. This is the other thing included in the set. It's a little tree disguise that you can put on. <laughs> There's a leaf here and it includes a, uh, is this a parrot? Pretty sure it's a parrot. Again, a cool way to collect the uh, a Lego parrot. You just put that on here 
And the point of this is that you can strap it on him. Just like this. Voila! There you go. So now, he's in disguise. He's blending in the environment, that's why his his pants are brown as well. And of course, if I were him, and a cougar was walking right up to me, I'd probably be freaking out too. Maybe that's why he has got that freaked out face, but voila, there you go. That's what he looks like with, with, the, with the tree disguise on. And the only problem is he's going to be a little heavy. So you're going to have to figure out a way to balance him out and do everything from that. So, cool. Two options you can put on with this guy. And definitely, he looks really, really funny. I was never really a fan of LEGO City, because it's just LEGO versions of stuff that we see in real, in real life. However, that doesn't mean all LEGO City sets are bad. The LEGO City sets that really capture my interest are those with these suckers, animals. Time and time, LEGO has created LEGO City sets that has animals, and I usually go for the cheap ones, because of course the small ones, they have the animals. Dolphins, I don't think we have any dolphins, but I have a shark, octopus, mammoth, mammoth I got from the Arctic base set, but I won't be doing a review on that, it's, it's completely shattered. <laughs> no way of rebuilding it. And just, yeah, Lego creatures and animals, and it's just not just animals, like, dinosaurs too, I like collecting them. So, I would recommend the set, but not for the Jeep. I don't appreciate how the Jeep looks like a zebra. And it just looks like easy prey for the cougar. Or at least he thinks it's easy prey. But again, <laughs> the tourist has a very, very funny disguise. Very funny figure. The worker, mm, eh, I guess she's okay. But oh yeah, I'm definitely here for the cougar. That's an awesome figure. So, in the end, of course, I don't really have that much high expectations for LEGO City sets. Again, it's not really my preferred theme. But apart from that, still a pretty neat set. I would say, yeah, get this set for sure. So I'm gonna give this set a, well, let's say, let's give it a, um, let's give it a six, uh, eight out of 10, eight out of 10. Two points off, the only problem is the color scheme of the Jeep. But everything else, the Jeep is built nicely, the figures are nice, and of course, you get this really, really awesome cougar. So, those are my thoughts for this set. Of course, you can totally disagree with me by disliking the video, or liking the video. Please like the video, actually. If you disagree with me, like, dislike the video, but if you do agree with me, like the video. And subscribe to the channel for more, because we got more content coming your way very soon. And I hope you guys will enjoy them when they come out. So, we'll talk to you again in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you again very, very soon.